Take a look around the room. Do it. Do it. See all the faces. See them. See the faces that you know. See the faces of people you maybe never met before. See the faces of the people who you may know of, but you haven't really met them before. Our relationships are all different. But because we're all here right now, we ultimately share two things in common. One is that we're here. Not just here in this room, but here on this planet, at the same time, sharing a life together. The other thing we share is that ultimately, whether we like it or not, someday we must all die. We don't really have a choice, do we? I say that, but the thing is, the choice seems to be made all the time. In recent, particularly in this country, by those who are a lot younger. And I bet you all didn't know that in one year, the number of people who kill themselves is over 83,000. The number of people in the U.S. alone who take their own life is about 105 in one year. Suicide is the fourth leading cause of death in children ages 5 to 14. Suicide is the third leading cause of death in young adults ages 15 to 24. And I bet some of us have all thought about that sometime for ourselves. It seems really silly to think about. Killing yourself is very taboo, but we all experience depression and loss. We all go through hard times. <coughs> Why do people do it? What is it in one human brain that makes a person want to end their life forever. Especially young people who have so much to live for. What is so awful in their life about schoolwork, everyday social situations like making friends or dealing with bullies, perhaps being of a different sexual orientation? Why is the ultimate sacrifice an obvious choice to anyone? find out right now. <laughs>